Hello and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I'm Alicia and this is your weekly source for the best tips and tools for pain relief and feeling unstoppable. And today I'm going to show you how to release your triceps fascia using a barbell. Um, the triceps can be um, kind of a minor player, not necessarily a major player, but a minor player in things like elbow pain or shoulder issues. Um, and if you generally want to have arms that feel a lot lighter and freer, even if you don't have pain, this is a good one to try. So you're gonna need, you know, something like a barbell here, and this height is gonna work well for me because I'm gonna actually kneel down into a position like this for this one. And you're gonna wanna place, um, you might have to do some experimenting actually, and find the fascial adhesion or lump in your tricep. I know where it is on me. It's a little bit um, higher than mid, midway through that humerus. Um, and you're looking for that fascial adhesion. If you don't have one, you may not need to do this technique. Um, and if you do, even if you're not in pain, it's gonna benefit you to release it. So that's something that I actually found out recently. I didn't have any arm pain or elbow pain or shoulder issues, but got into this tricep and my arm felt so much better afterwards. So um, you're basically going to let the weight of your arm really sink into the bar and you can kind of help that out a little bit by just putting a little bit of force into the bar. Um, and then just make a really gentle kind of fist here. And you're gonna go side to side. And you can kind of see that clunk, hopefully. Um, but that's where mine is. And it shouldn't be in there. Uh, so you're just gonna go back and forth a few times. You could try going all the way straight and also rolling but I've found it's actually a lot better if you bend at the elbow because you're actually stretching all that fascia when you do that. Um, so just going back and forth now. My shoulder actually pops a little bit when I do this. Yours might also, and that's kind of just a good indication of how this one spot can affect the shoulder. Um, and again, maybe just give it 10 back and forths. You don't want to be on there too long. Come off, shake it out, and move on with your day. So I'll give this a try and see how your arm feels afterwards and if it feels better, maybe keep it up a couple times a week. Um, you shouldn't need to do this one that frequently, but it might be something you wanna add um, periodically if you feel like your tricep fascia is getting tight. And if you liked this, like it and share it and I will see you next time on Mobility Mastery Monday.